My name is Jeff Price, and I'm the lead pastor at Movement Church. And as a pastor, I've been around the church world for some time. And by being there, I've experienced some pretty hurtful scenarios. I've had pastors personally hurt me. I've had a church feel like it's hurt me. And reality is there was a season where I was like, I'm ready to give up on church and just go do something in the secular world and make money for a change, right? I want to just pause for a second and say, if you've been hurt from a church, I am so sorry. I, I really want you to know that I, I understand that that's real. I understand that your pain is true. And I understand that people have done stuff, said stuff, or let you down in insurmountable ways. And I want to take a second, and I just want to walk through what should we do if we've been hurt? The first thing is I really want to say is I, I, want, I want us to acknowledge that your hurt is real. Sometimes we're told to be like, oh no, your faith isn't right, or you have a critical spirit, or don't touch God's anointed. You know, we, we get these things thrown at us, and we're supposed to just kind of take them like, oh, okay, I guess it's my own spot of wrongness that I've experienced hurt, and the church is right. And I don't want to let you know that if you've been hurt, take time to actually acknowledge your hurt. Acknowledge it inside your own heart. Take a moment to go, okay, this is what's happened, and this is why I'm hurt, and this is what's created that hurt. I don't think it's wrong to be honest with yourself about what's going on. But I want to encourage you, in that moment, there's a huge temptation to turn away from God. Because we've been hurt by the church and by pastors, there's this idea that, well, I'm going to just kind of throw the baby out with the bathwater. I'm going to give up on church. I'm going to give up on God. I'm going to walk away from all of that. And, and I want to pause for a moment on this concept. Because it's so tempting to give up on God, but God is not the one that hurt you and I. It, it was a leader, it was a pastor, it was a church, it was a doctrine, it was a mindset. But I, I want you to know that this hurt that you're talking about, not only I as a pastor experienced it, but can I tell you that Jesus has actually experienced hurt from the church? One of Jesus' closest disciples, Judas, he, he traveled with them for three years. He spent time in the ministry. He turned on Jesus and actually sold Jesus out, like literally for pieces of silver, ratted on the guy, right? Like Jesus understands what that feels like to be betrayed by somebody that you place trust in. Jesus understands what it means to go, man, I actually had, I thought I had friendship. I thought I had relationship. And this person goes and stabs me in the back like that. On top of that, Let's remember that Jesus was actually ultimately hurt by the church. It was the religious organization that actually sent Jesus to the cross. It was religious leaders that actually called for his crucifixion. It was the church Jewish people that were calling out for crucifixion. Jesus understands what it's like to have a church actually turn against him. So I want you to understand that when you are sitting and you're hurt from leaders or you feel betrayed or you feel like the church has abandoned you and done something wrong, turning away from Jesus isn't the answer. That's only going to isolate the hurt more. The truth is, is that what I want to encourage you is turn to Jesus. Jesus actually, more than anybody in the world, understands the pain that you're going through. He understands the hurt that you're going through. Let's not judge the almighty, awesome God through fallen, fallen, broken people here on earth. I also want to encourage you, and this is one of the hardest things. If you've been hurt, I want to encourage you to bring your hurt to leadership. I know that our temptation is to turn and run. I know our temptation is just to cut it off and never talk to them again. And can I tell you, as a pastor, I'm so sad when somebody who's been hurt from our church turns and leaves and never explains to me why they've left or what caused the hurt. Now, I know that there's a bit of feeling there that's like, well, what's the point? I'm not going to change their mind. I'm not going to change their perspective. The hurt's already happened. They're not going to apologize. And, and it can feel like all that pastor is going to do is just defend themselves. But I think there's two things that come out of talking to leadership. One is you're informing them what actually happened. You're, you're giving them the opportunity to have their eyes open and their heart touched to go, hmm, maybe we could have done things differently. And hopefully protecting that situation from taking place again. The second thing is, is that they will do is, is that it actually gets it off your chest. It actually puts you in a spot where you have taken your hurt to God and you've talked to God and you've spoken to God, but now you've actually spoken to the individual. Even if they don't listen to you, there is healing that takes place in 
actually having that conversation and getting those feelings actually spoken and shared. But I want to remind you of something, is that we as pastors are human. Truth is, is I don't wake up in the morning and go, how can I hurt somebody in my congregation? But I'm pretty confident there's people who have been hurt by Movement Church and there's people who have been hurt by my leadership. The truth is, is I'm human. I'm not infallible. I'm not God. I, I'm not some super Christian. I don't have some special access to the Holy Spirit that, that you don't have. I am human in every way. And therefore, I have my own insecurities. I have my own strengths. I have my own weaknesses. I have my own issues. I have my own family drama that I'm wrestling through. And so sometimes there's the reality that I possibly have hurt or the leader has hurt you without them actually even knowing it's a blind spot inside their own leadership skills. Or flat out, they're just human and they've made huge mistakes. And this is where we have to choose to forgive. This is where it gets really hard and nitty gritty because this is where God talks to us about the idea that we have to choose to release the power and the hold that that hurt has on us and choose to forgive. When I was really hurt by a pastor and I wanted to give up on ministry, I wanted to walk away from the church, I wanted to walk away from all this stuff, I was sitting in prayer and I actually was praying like, God, would you take that pastor out? Will you, will you reveal to him his sin? Will, God, how can you use him when he's just got this wake of destruction behind him? And God reminded me of my own brokenness. And he said, Jeff, because you are broken, yet I forgive you and I still use you, don't you want the same for him? Because if I hold him to a different account, I have to hold you to it. And truth is, I want grace and forgiveness. I want grace and mercy. I need it. I can't pastor, lead, or do anything without it. I have to have that grace and mercy. And so I had to take that grace and go, he is a broken person. He had issues, and God was dealing with him. But in his grace, in his mercy, he was still using him. So I want to encourage you. If you've been hurt, I get it. And I'm sorry. I really am. I'm sorry that we're not perfect beings. If I was God, I wouldn't build my church on the back of humans because we have so many problems. But I want to remind you to forgive, to let God do a work in your heart and to let God move in a powerful way as well in that pastor's heart. I also want to say it's okay to leave a church. I know sometimes there's these teachings out there that like this is your church. I, I've had people say to me before, I'm going to outlast you. I'm like, you, you probably will. I don't doubt that you'll outlast me. Like that, That's probably true. But why would you want to? Why would you want to? Why would you want to stay at a church that's hurt you? Why would you want to stay at a church and become bitter and frustrated? So many people have been hurt from the church. What they do with their families, they go, they stay at that church, they go, they keep talking, uh, they listen, and then they go home and sit around the dinner table at lunch and they talk bad about the church. And their kids are sitting at that table. And then they wonder 10, 15 years later why their kids are leaving the church and want nothing to do with the church. Well, it's because for the last 15 years, you've been involved in a church that hurts you and you've been bitter and angry towards it. Why not find a church that you connect with? Why not find a church that will be right for you and your family? I understand the doctrine of of, you don't give up easy. I respect that. But I also understand that, man, God has created so many beautiful churches through our communities and around the world, and they all have different purposes and different intents, and God's allowed all those different churches to work so that people of different personalities and styles and mindsets can find a home where they can sit and they can believe. Just because one church operates one way doesn't mean that it's wrong. It's just different in how God's anointed them. So rather than sitting in a church And being angry and hurt, and every time you walk in, you are faced with that pain. Why not make the choice to go somewhere where there is life and there's energy and somewhere where you can grow and become who God called you to become and where the next generation behind you can grow? Listen, I know that it's not easy to leave a church. And I know that the temptation is to talk badly about the church when you leave the church. 
But I want to remind you, you live in the same community of that church. And I don't want there to be residual hurt that when you're walking through the grocery store and you see somebody from that church or you see the pastor from that church, that, that you literally have to duck your head and walk to the next aisle quickly and hope that they don't see you because you have allowed your hurt and your pain to bring you to a spot where you've trashed and said things you don't really mean. I don't want it to be awkward for you. If you've been hurt, my goal is that you would go, God, I turn to you. You're my source, not the church, not the pastor. I've gone and talked to the pastoral team and I've put my hurts out there and I've given room for you to do something there and to heal me. I've addressed those things and I've brought forgiveness and I've forgiven the person and I've left the church and found life in another life-giving organization. And therefore, when you walk down that grocery store and you see the pastor or you see somebody, you're able to actually say hi. You're able to actually show the love of Christ and the grace of God. And I want to remind you, the Bible actually teaches that people who preach the gospel with wrong motives can still be used to bring salvation. And so I don't want to ever step in the way of somebody who is going to attend a church and find Jesus in that process. And so I want to be careful with what I say. Look, here's the deal. Your hurt is real. And I'm sorry. If you've never had a pastor say I'm sorry to you, then please hear that. I'm sorry that you experience hurt and pain. But I promise you, God is bigger than that pain. God is bigger than that hurt. And don't turn away from him. But rather, run to him and allow him to heal your heart. I hope this has helped you. Would you do us a favor and leave a comment in the comment section and just let us know that you are back on your journey or that you're fighting for health or that you're wrestling through forgiveness because we want to be able to pray for you and stand with you and believe that God still has a great plan for your life and you still matter to him.